Here's another practice question for you to try. Question number 26 says, A furniture company manufactures desks and chairs. Each desk uses 4 units of wood, and each chair uses 3 units of wood. A desk contributes $400 to profit, and a chair contributes $250. Marketing restrictions require that the number of chairs produced be at least twice the number of desks produced. There are 2,000 units of wood available. Use solver to maximize the company's profit. So here again we've got a challenging problem, and before you jump into the solution for this, make sure you really do spend about 10 minutes giving this a try. So set some time on the clock, give this a try before looking at the answer. Here's the answer to question 26. As inputs to this model, we've got our unit margins for desks, which is $400, and chairs, which is $250. Our wood usage per unit was 4 and 3. And then finally, the number of units to produce is our decision variable. So we've got 200 units for desks and 400 units per chair. So we can put anything here for now, but Excel is going to tell us through Solver what the output should be there. Our constraints on wood are as follows. For the amount of wood we use, we take the sum product of the number of units to produce together with B6 to C6. And that needs to be less than or equal to the wood we have available. The constraint on chairs was a bit of a tricky one. It said marketing restrictions require that the number of chairs produced be at least twice the number of desks produced. So the way we're going to get that is our chairs produced are going to be equal to C10. Now we can just reference that. That needs to be greater than or equal to the chairs required, which is twice the number of desks, equals 2 times B10. Now this looks simple in hindsight, but when you're first setting up your model, that might take you some time to actually think through. Again, when you're looking at these answers, they might look intuitive, but when you're looking at a blank spreadsheet, this might take you some time. So make sure you are spending the time thinking through the model before you jump into the solutions, because the hard part is trying to figure out how all of this comes together. Our profit is the sum product of the units produced, together with the unit margins we earn on each product, and we get $180,000 over here. Now in Solver, data, Solver, we're setting profit to a maximum by changing the number of units to produce, subject to the constraints that the wood used needs to be less than or equal to the wood available, and the chairs produced need to be greater than or equal to the chairs required, and we choose Solve. 